is a quick tutorial to show you how to install Wi-Fi signal bars using WinSCP and OpenSSH. So go to WinSCP, your host name which is your IP address and to find that you need to go to settings in your iPhone and then Wi-Fi settings and then the network you're connected to will have a tick by the side of it you need to click on the blue and white arrow next to that one and at the top the IP address that's the IP address you need to put in the host name to connect to your iPhone so type your IP address in there and your username is root and passwords are the default it's the uh, either the default password which is alpine if you've not already changed it with uh, mobile terminal and if you save it as well if you save it as the um, whatever you want to call it you don't have to keep typing it in but um, usually the IP address is different if you're going to connect uh, via ad hoc uh, from your computer instead of using a wireless router and type in your password and then this is your on the right hand side that's your main directories for your iPhone there that's your root directory All right, let's go have a look which one we're going to use use the colored Wi-Fi so it's open and extract to and then select desktop okay and then that should put the folder on his desktop there it is top left okay close WinRAR shut that down okay now we need to go back to WinSCP click on this uh, up folder to go to your start directory then at the um, very beginning just keep clicking it until it can't go anymore Then you need to click system and then library and then core services and springboard.app. And now we need to find the default Wi Fi bars. Uh, the airports. Okay, now we need to open the file. I select all, Control A, except for the DS store, you don't need that one. And then we're going to drag these files onto the right hand pane, which is the iPhone directories. Click copy, you should get a um, overwrite say just say yes you can set it to uh, not show the message and just do it automatically and then they should be in there now so we can close this and close WinSCP now we need to refresh the springboard using winterboard and that's where it should change once we've done it so we'll go to winterboard just tick anything and untick it if you want to keep it so you don't make any changes to your theme and then reset the springboard by clicking the home button and there it is in the top left there you can see it's changed the Wi-Fi signal bars